Hello everyone, my name is Confident and it's great to have you back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the multi-select tree and I'm going to show you some of its options and the ways in which you can configure it. So for us to get started, I am going to head over to the widget section and bring in a new multi-tree select widget. And here we have the multi-select tree widget showing up on the canvas. Um, taking a look at the property pane, the first option we have here to configure is the display mode. And here we can choose to display all items, which would be the parent and children items, or we can choose to display only children items or parent items in the widget. We're going to leave this as default to display all items. And uh, taking a look at this, we can see both the uh, parent that is selected and also the children selected within that parent option. Heading back to the um, multi-tree select, we have the options property, and this is where we come to specify what options we want to be available on the multi-tree select widget. So we can provide an array of objects that have label value, and that will be used to build the options. But the beauty of this is that we can also provide nested data by um, supplying a key of children that has an array of the data we want nested. So for example, we have the blue option, Right here, we have the um, children array that has dark blue and also has light blue. And going back to the widget, which you already saw, we have the blue option that is having dark blue and light blue nested within it. So we can do that by supplying an array of children options, and that is just going to nest it within the parent option. Uh, moving on, we also have the default value, and this is the value selected by default on the um, multi-select widget. So let's clear all of this out. All right. And we can go to supply a new default value, say something like red. So we can add in red and we have red showing up on the widgets selected by default. So these are the options that will be selected by default whenever the widget is rendered on an application. We can also specify a text for the label. So we have a label right here. So we can update this to something like colors. And we have the new text showing up. The same also goes for the placeholder. The placeholder is displayed when no option is selected by default. So we can cancel all these selections. And you see that we have the placeholder showing up here. And we can similarly go in to update this to something else like select a color. And we have select a color showing up as the placeholder on the multi select tree widget. Other properties we have right here is uh, the property to control the visibility. So we can control the visibility by toggling this on or off. We can also control the disabled state. Uh, same also goes for the required state. And we have the property to enable clearing all selections. So turning this on would show up a small check mark that when clicked on would cancel all selected values. So clicking on this is just going to clear all selections in the widget. And we also have the option to expand all by default. Uh, turning this on would make sure that all nested data is displayed and we can see everything um, at a single glance. We also have styling options for the um, multi-select widget. Uh, we can choose to specify a color for the label. So we can set this to something like red. And uh, taking a look at this, we have the label updated to red. We can set a text size for the label and that has made the label a bit bigger. And same also goes for setting a font style for the label. We can do all of that to customize the look and feel of the label for the multi-select widget. And for the actions, we can run an action whenever, whenever the selected option changes. So whenever a user selects an item or deselects an item, we can choose to run an action. We have all of these predefined actions we can run, or we can go into the JavaScript mode and write some logic for the action we want to be executed um, whenever the option of this widget changes. I'd like to show you how to access values that have been selected from the multi-select widget. And to do this, I would need to bring in a text widget right here. And let's expand this a bit. All right, so let's go in into the text property and uh, we can access the name of the widget. So this is multi-select tree. And taking a look at this, you see that we have a lot of properties we can read from, but we are more interested in accessing the values that have been selected. So to access that, we type in the name of the widget, then do a dot selected option values. And here we have an array of values that have been selected by the user. So going in to select um, new options such as green and red, 
you can see right here that we now in that array have green and red added to it and uh, deselecting red for example you see that we only have green showing up all right so this has been the multi-tree select widget i hope you found this video helpful if you did leave a like get subscribed i'll see you in the next one